my name is Alicia Avalos, and I want to present my future project. How does the lack of education in women affect society in Pakistan? The woman is not the only one in the picture of this problem. Also, men without education negatively impact at this moment. I want to focus on, on women because uh, for years the education in Pakistan has been forbidden. These women raise their own children. I want to bring to the table the effects of raising children with a lack of education and how this effects reflects Pakistan society. Some studies state that parents with education and homes with books are strongly linked to academic achievement. In other countries where education is working very good with schools around the world, the system of education is challenging the families and government. Experts in education claim for a change in the system. Sooner or later, first world countries will completely change their education system and offer an updated and competitive curriculum. This path will leave behind third world countries that don't update their education system and curriculum. The third world countries stay around 30 years behind in their system education. Imagine the distance between countries in education performance. But what about Pakistan? According to the United Nations Global Education Report in 2016, Pakistan is 50 years behind primary education and 60 years behind in secondary. I'm asking you to think about how far it will be in Pakistan after the digital innovation that COVID-19 pushes to the digital era. Sadly, more backward and obsolete. But it seems this obsolete system is better than nothing. But this outdated system separates from the competitive countries. So they just don't have one problem, they have two. One, comparing their education with the traditional education around the world, they are behind. Talking about new ways of learning and education, some countries are falling behind. Still, Pakistan has much more distance from first world world countries. Lack, lack of education has serious effects to everyone, not only undereducated people who lack of education have trouble getting ahead in life, have worse health are, and are poorer than the well educated. Major effects of library education include poor health, lack of a voice, shorter lifespan, unemployment, exploitation, and gender inequality. Education is a human right. As mother is a mother is the principal provider of the primary care that her child needs during the first six years of his life. The type of care she provides depends mainly on her knowledge and understanding of essential nutrition and health and healthcare. The educated mother has an impact on the academic and the emotional achievement of her child. One study shows that children of educated mothers show good academic performance. The academic performance of educated mother children is better than those who mothers are not well educated. The evidence shows that 87% children whose mothers are educated are academically successful. A mother's own education and acknowledge her, no, her own economic standing and success impact the future of generation that she brings up. The cycle of ignorance is passed from generation to generation. Part of the culture is that girls drop their education because of early marriage and start their motherhood. These norms are outside her control. These practices are part of, her, of their culture. Parents don't find the point on educating on girls a girl because she will be a stay-at-home mom, according to the culture. Still, society is not taking into account the influence of a mother at home and her children. An educated mother help, help cognitively, cognitively stimulating activities to enhance a child's academic potential. They are more equipped to help the children with tests, exams, and homework. Educated mothers are also more likely to encourage a child to partake in extracurricular activities, not necessarily linked to academic excellence, but rather the work of their social cognitives. We find Muslim women are less educated than women in most other religious groups. 
and lag further behind their male co-religionists. Part of the culture of Muslims is that women must stay at home. On one side, I understand the importance of raising a family at home. Still, motherhood is not fighting with personal development and opportunities. It seems that a woman just works a su su superficial role. Saying, saying that stay-at-home mom doesn't need education, so like their position doesn't does not impact a family and society. Pakistani people link education with only job position, which is not which is not the sole purpose of education. Enrolling school is more than getting a job a certificate. Educated moms have brought perspective a positive influence on their children, who someday rule Pakistan. Education in Pakistan is the future of Pakistan. Thank you.